York Pub in Borough, South London, to launch the Accessibility Guide for Pubs. And of course, this is about staff training as well as facilities, because it's about staff really understanding their customers, encouraging their customers, and when they have a disability, making them feel welcome in a pub. So we're launching a guide. It gives, we worked with tourism for all, it gives both guidance to pubs, but it also gives some case study materials for where accessibility for disabled people um, has been well. And of course we have 9 million people in this country who have disabilities. They often come out with families and friends and we want to encourage them to come to our pubs. Okay, so tell me, why do you think being accessible is, is good for businesses like pubs? It's really important that pubs are accessible because disabled people want to go to pubs the same as everybody else. And disabled people will choose where to go based on a couple of things. It's partly about access, but it's partly about attitude of staff. And it's about making it easy for them to get into so they can choose where to spend their money. Right. And how important do you think it is to have information available on what the access uh, features are on an individual premises? Disabled people make decisions every single day about access and about how they want to move around travel or buy goods and services. And most of the time it's not about physical access being perfect, it's about people having information so they can make a choice. So people might choose to come into a world that's got a step or maybe, you know, has a right now. But it's really important that the disabled people themselves know about the place they're going so they can make a decision where to go. Right. Now, pubs are mostly small family-run businesses and modifying premises, especially historic buildings, can be a bit expensive. What do you say to that in terms of what pubs should be doing? It can be really expensive to make adaptation, especially where buildings are very old or perhaps, you know, listed. Um, and really, a lot of the adaptations that are needed can be very cheap. So it's like we have in a portable ramp or um, just moving the tables around in a different way. Um, the most important thing is about the attitude of the people who own and run the pubs. It's about them being welcoming. If they see somebody outside in a wheelchair with a big step, just go out and offer them a hand. Actually, you know, most disabled people in the UK are used to challenges with access because it's a really young country. But the most important thing is to be welcoming because if disabled people find places that they like going, they'll go back there again and again. They're very loyal. Right. And what would you say was your top tip for a pub to implement to make themselves more accessible? Um, the top tip um, for a pub, which uh, will be absolutely amazing, is to have an accessible loop if at all possible. It doesn't have to have kind of hoists and all sorts of glamorous things. It just kind of needs to be something that, that's really simple. Um, that makes a huge difference about where disabled people go and spend their money. Um, the second thing would just be welcoming, just be helpful, just be friendly, um, and you know, welcome disabled people in. Great. And what do you think of the new BBPA guidance? Do you think it will help pubs? BBPA guidance is really important because a lot of the time people don't know what to do to make themselves accessible. They think it probably has to be lifts and ramps and lots of very complicated things. But actually, it's quite simple. It's about treating disabled people the same as everyone else. And I think the guidance is amazing because actually it just allays fears of people who own and run pubs just to say that these are things that you can do to make your business more accessible to actually everybody. I think being accessible is good for businesses yes. like pubs. And you, yes, um, being good for um, accessibility, um, there's about one in four of the population that have some kind of health condition or an access need, and making improvements to access really is good for everyone. So you have parents with push chairs, you have maybe people with broken limbs, older people, everyone benefits across, across the place. Right, and how important do you think having good information is for people with access needs when they visit premises like pubs? Yeah, we know from, from research with disabled people that um, information really is key. Um, if they're looking to find a pub uh, for a nice meal um, and it doesn't have any information on their accessibility, then they're much less likely to risk having a bad experience going to that pub and more likely to find a pub that has good information and take their business there. Right. 
Now, for small businesses like pubs, making physical changes to what are often historic buildings can be an expensive business. What would you say to pubs that were concerned that, that it, it might be too expensive to go down that road? Yes. Well, I think it's important to say it's not all about widening doors and making big physical changes. There's lots of small changes that, that pubs can make. Maybe if they just have one small step to their front door, their front entrance, uh, something like a portable ramp. Uh, could be a low cost um, alternative to having a, a physical ramp fitted. But also, the customer service is something that is really important and can help to overcome any physical access restraints. So, look at disability awareness training, um, which, which Visit England offer for free. Right, and um, what would you say would be your top tip for making premises like pubs more accessible? It goes back to information. My top tip would be for pubs to produce an access statement, and that's a written description of their accessibility. And uh, you can put that on their website, and it's a marketing document really, so that everyone understands all of your facilities and services, how accessible they are, and there's, there's no, no uncertainty. And finally, what do you think of the new BBVA guidance, and do you think it will help pubs to become more accessible? I think the new guide is an excellent first step in giving pubs the ideas uh, that they need to make uh, improvements to their accessibility and also it puts the figures of the business case in there. So £2 billion is spent by disabled visitors in the each year, so there's a strong business case that's laid out in the guide. So William, why do you think that being accessible is good for businesses like pubs? Because there are so many people who want to go to pubs uh, and um, uh, literally to um, able to enjoy normal life and um, the number of people that you may see in the street in wheelchairs, walking on sticks, um, people maybe who might be blind, partially sighted and things, then um, there's a great enormous part of that. And how important do you think it is to have information available for people so they know what to expect when they get to a premises? One of the most important things about the information is actually having uh, people who understand and can actually tell somebody who gets in touch with you exactly what you have to offer. Because there's so many places you go to, they almost talk you through it all uh, and try and make you believe that people have good access. But, um, so that's why I think it's a place that you can recognise for it, and a place that's actually uh, mentioned about having it, then the staff should be well trained in knowing that information. Do you think staff training is very important? Very, very important. Particularly in the pub trade, and particularly in restaurants, in hotels, places where people uh, go to enjoy themselves, the um, staff training is an essential element. Staff turnover is so enormous. Physical changes to buildings can be quite expensive for family businesses like pubs. What would you say to pubs that would worry that they can't um, afford to make the changes that they need on more often quite historic buildings like this one, for instance? Well, one of the most important things is maybe to have information about where people with disabilities can actually go. So one of the things I can't wait is if you can't actually get out of the toilet, into the wheelchair, then you know someone very close to you, but you have the app on like that. Um, one of the other things is, and I discovered when I came here today, that um, the blue badge guide, the blue badge for disabled people, is actually allowed to be used in southern, unlike some areas, and um, you know, it's uh, like about my car. And finally, what do you think of the new BBPA guidance and do you think it will be helpful for pubs? I'm sure as long as people can actually get hold of it and know about it, I believe it's on the website as well, I think it's enormously helpful because it gives practical information and it actually goes to show that um, pubs are basically accessible for people. Lorraine, you're the licensee here in what is a very historic pub. A lot of licensees would say that it's too expensive to make changes to improve access at buildings like this. What do you say to that and what do you think pubs can do to help those with access needs? 
but I would say yes, it can be difficult, and sometimes it's just not possible to change the physical things. But to me, the most important thing is to have all of your staff trained so that they can welcome people in the proper fashion and just make it a really nice experience. So that goes a long way to overcoming any physical shortcomings that the building might have. And would you say that staff training was your top tip for making sure that yeah. pubs are giving a, a, a welcome? Definitely. And how important do you think information is when you've got customers coming in uh, who might have some access needs? How do you how do you get around that? Well, the staff make sure that they welcome, um, assess what what's required, you know, seek them in a place which is going to be suitable without being patronising. Um, explain to them the special board for instance because they might be sitting down there and you can't just point them on the read the menu you might just, just explain and be helpful as much as possible and do you think all these steps that you've taken have actually helped the business undoubtedly undoubtedly